What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another custom truck build. Since you guys really liked my last custom truck build that we had built, if you haven't checked it out, go check that video out. We built a custom Pete 389. You guys really seem to like that video. So today we're going to build another custom truck. This one's going to have a theme to it and I'm building this one for a reason, but you guys will see. So today I will be building a Volvo truck. This will be the first time I've built a Volvo. It's a Volvo VNL. So one of the main things that I'm actually building this truck for is I did actually just recently take a new job. In real life, I actually accepted a new job. I now accepted a job at a Harley Davidson dealership. I am a new I am a new motorcycle sales consultant there. So I'm a motorcycle salesman at Harley Davidson. So the theme around this truck will actually be Harley Davidson, which you guys will see. We're going to be hauling a bunch of bikes, a bunch of motorcycles, a bunch of parts, things like that for Harley Davidson dealerships. And I'm also going to build a trailer to match this. So that's going to be the theme for it. So we're going to build kind of a badass truck. So we are going to leave the Volvo engine in this truck. As you guys can see, I have several options between Volvo and Cummins. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Cummins engines. I am going to leave it Volvo on this one because we never use Volvo engines on anything. Uh, so I figured we'll just keep it a little bit of a different. This engine is 600 horsepower and 2,000 foot pounds of torque. Or I should have any problems hauling anything. However, this truck's main purpose is just hauling kind of light cargoes. We're not going to be hauling anything heavy with this. It's just going to be for dealership, Harley Davis and dealership related stuff. So I'm actually going to also change it up since we're doing something totally different. And instead of changing it to the 13 speed or the 18 speed transmissions that I love, I'm going to keep it more rated for normal cargo and we're actually going to go with the 9 speed. And now of course the one thing we have to do is the paint job and here is the paint for the truck that we are going to run with. So I'm very excited about it. You guys can take a closer look here. Looks really really good. I don't remember the mod name or the name of the creator who made this but he did a really good job of it. This was not my make. This was not my mod. I did not make this skin. I will try to maybe link it or maybe when I'm editing this video, I'll put a name, put the mod maker's name, but they did a really, really good job with it. I think it looks really good. But now on to the fun part. There's a lot of customization on this. And the one thing I can see right now that really stands out and makes this truck ugly is these awful stock wheels with that paint job. We need it to look good. So let's go ahead and zoom on in here, get a closer look at these bad boys. And we're gonna change them. I kind of already have an idea on what I want to go with. We're definitely going to go with one of the more aftermarket wheels, the stock, not the stock wheels. And I have an idea on a theme that I want to run. I do like those shadows, the black look, but I have a little bit of a different look I think I'm going to go with. The picture I have in my head of what I'm trying to build, I think you guys are really going to like. I'm just checking out some of these aftermarket wheels and I just found the ones that I want. Or at least I thought I did. Now I'm getting kind of mixed up with these. I think we're going to go with this wheel here. Yeah, we're going to do something like that. And we're going to paint these lug nuts to match. Of course, we're going to do these big aftermarket spikes on it. Let's see if you guys can take a look at it. But we're going to do the ones that get painted. We're either going to paint them orange or we're going to paint them black. So we go with the big ones. Let's try and paint them orange and just see what it looks like. Let's see what that looks like now with that center cap black. And we're going to do the aftermarket center cap, something like that. I do like the bigger style. We might go with that. I actually really like that. That looks pretty aggressive. We may end up changing those to black, but we'll see. Now let's go ahead and change the back wheels. Of course, we've got to make the back wheels match the fronts as much as we can. We've got to paint them. Yeah, I think that looks pretty dang good. I really, really like that. Of course, when the cover's on it and then we put these lug nuts, I think it'll look really, really good. I mean, those black spikes on it look pretty good in there, but I really want to paint them. I think as much on the black and orange. I'm not sure how I feel about those spike lug nuts, whether we're going to keep them orange or we're going to paint them black. I do like the wheels, the black and orange. That looks really good. So let's make this back wheel match as well. And of course we got many options there. I actually really like that white and black look there. We might might make a white and black truck here in the near future. I think that'll be a really nice build. We'll call it the Panda build. So I do want to kind of compare side by side. We're going to look at both of these back wheels. I want to kind of look at both of these back wheels with orange and black spikes and just see what they look like. So there they are. The left side, the left wheel here has the orange lug nut spikes 
and the right side's got the all black. I think they both look just as good to be honest. We're probably going to change both the front and that back. I think we're going to run it just black spikes. What do you guys think? Should I run in black spikes or orange spikes? Comment it below what you guys think. I think for now we're going to keep them orange until you guys comment and say otherwise. So yeah, we'll probably go with that. Now in, ter in terms of the tires that are on it, I actually really like those tires. I think they look really aggressive like that. We don't really have many options for mud flops. We have the stock, we have the slanted, and then we have like longer slanted. We might actually just go with the longer slanted. Kind of feels more like a premium build or a premium mud flat. We are not going to run a headache rack on the back of this, as we can't anyways. But the main reason why is because I don't want to cover up that mural right there. I really like that. And then I also really like the dual stacks on this. Not that we have many options for that anyways. Now, in terms of the front, this is where things can be interesting. I definitely want mirrors on both sides of this. And then there's actually a lot of customization here. And I don't think I necessarily want that customization or really anything there specifically. I think we're just going to leave it standard. But let's change that grill. Let's see. Actually, we're going to leave it like that. And I do like that black with that chrome. We're going to make it just standard because I kind of like that look. And in terms of a bull bar, I don't think we're going to go that. I do like how that painted down there. If we could make it all black or maybe even black and orange, that would be cool. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep that. I want that kind of clean look in the front. Now in terms of the bumper, we've got something I kinda like black and chrome. And it does paint. We have several different bumper options here. As you guys can see. And I think we're gonna go with that more premium style there. I do really, really like that. We're not going to go an oversized load at all. And we're going to keep the cab lights just standard lights over the extra chrome trim. I really like that black, the black on orange look. And then in terms of those lights, we can add those lights up there. I don't know how I feel about that. Adding lights on the top like that or even a horn on top of that. We do still have our horns. It kind of takes away from the clean look that we're trying to go with here. I'm probably going to take that away for now and we'll save that for a different build. In terms of the side skirt, you guys can kind of see right back here it changes that step. I do like that standard look instead of the basic. Of course it keeps changing every time I click it so I can't really look. Yeah, we're going to definitely keep it standard. I like those steps better. And in terms of the side scope bars, probably going to keep it. I do like the lights on it, but we're definitely going to keep it black. Because I think that looks really good. Okay, well, let's check the inside and add some inside accessories. Now, again, this is going to be for a Harley Davidson dealership. So, or at least for hauling Harley Davidson parts. I do believe we have our GPS right over here to the right. See, we'll go ahead and add a GPS to it. We have already got our mirrors. And of course, we're going to add all kinds of things inside. Now, being a truck that's mainly going to haul for Harley Davidson, there's only one option for a mirror ornament or whatever hanging down, whatever you want to call it. There's only one real option to go with for a truck that's going to be hauling for Harley. And of course, that's the chrome skull. I wish they had a motorcycle. That'd be cool. That would make more sense. And of course we're going to have our American flag in the back. And we've got to remind ourselves that we're kind of a big manly badass hauling Harley Davidson motorcycles. So anyway, I got a few of the extra things in the interior done. I didn't think y'all wanted to sit all the way through it. So now we're going to go ahead and build a trailer to match it. So I wanted to build kind of a dry van. I wanted to build more of a custom one. I wanted to build more of a custom dry van. And we're actually going to go 45 foot. We're going to go long. We're going to go either 45 foot spread or we're going to go we're going to go 48 foot spread. And of course, as I said, 
we will be hauling for Harley Davidson, which you guys are kind of, when you're scanning through this, you know, you can see all my mods, you're kind of getting a, a little bit of a sneak peek on upcoming videos. But anyways, here it is. This is the Harley Davidson trailer that we will be hauling for. All of our Harley Davidson parts and stuff like that inside. Now, of course, I kind of wanted to leave this more of a standard look so you guys will see. So of course we're gonna put the extra lights on it, as I like, but we're actually not gonna really put anything underneath. Maybe a spare, I'm not even gonna keep put a spare tire under it. I do kinda like the way that's gonna look, especially with the custom wheels on it, but I really just wanted to kinda leave it the clean, open look. So let's go ahead and put those custom wheels on it, or at least the wheels to match our semi-truck. Which as you guys can see, again, we do have several options. I wanted something that's going to be very close to what we have on our semi-truck. There we go. And I mean, those are the exact wheels on our semi-truck. And of course, we have to put our orange on it. Go ahead and bump these up to our orange. Yeah, that's gonna look really good. You guys can probably already start to see the resemblance, or at least see the picture in your mind with the trailer connected with the truck. And of course, we've gotta make the other back tire match. And in terms of the doors, I think I'm actually going to leave this one pretty standard. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. But the roll-up door is pretty nice. We'll actually probably put the roll-up door on it. I do like the idea of the, the lift gate on it, especially with hauling motorcycle parts. But we're just going to go with the roll-up door for now. And of course, we need to change that basic trailer. We're going to make it a little more custom looking. All right, and here is the interior of our truck. And as you guys can see, all the extra stuff that I did to it, I ended up changing that out up top. We got some fishing poles because we'll go fishing on some trips and stuff. But here is what the outside of the truck looks like. I actually ended up changing the wheels as well on the trailer. Let me get that in the sunlight where you can see it. This thing looks absolutely amazing. And you guys can actually see the wheels on there down below. I went ahead and changed them. I think they look really good with the truck. But anyways, I'm very, very happy about this. Let's go ahead and listen to this bad boy. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button. You guys really seem to like the custom build videos that I do. So if you liked it, please smash that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. And as always, guys, I will see you all in the next video. So a huge shout out to the guy that actually made this paint scheme. It's Prologo's Workshop. I think I may have pronounced his name wrong. It's usually why I don't try to pronounce their names or pronounce their names on people that make mods. But I believe it's called Prologo's Workshop on Steam. Huge shout out to him for making it.